Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. The state of Vermont recently approved a single-payer Medicare for All health care plan to provide health coverage to all Vermont residents. This segment features a member of SHI-SPAN on the benefits of this type of health care. On January 14, 2011, members of the Chicago activist group FLY, Fearless Leading by the Youth, staged a mock funeral on the campus of the University of Chicago, calling for the university to open a new adult trauma center to serve Chicago South Side. A number of other Chicago groups working on health issues spoke at FLY's mock funeral, including the Chicago Single Payer Action Network, a Chicago group working on the establishment of a single payer Medicare for All health system in the United States. Edward Krause from the group explains. Uh, our organization, a lot of other organizations, uh, Chicago Single Payer Action Network, Illinois Single Payer Coalition, uh, Healthcare Now is a national group. We all believe that healthcare is a human right, and we also believe that in the last round of legislation that got passed, um, wasn't enough. It was it was far too mild a form of reform, and that what we need is a, equality across the board and all allocation, equal allocation of resources. So, are you talking about the recent uh, national healthcare quote unquote reform that got passed? So what are some specific uh, complaints that, that you would point out about that, that, that the citizens have had, not just, you know, that you individually, of course? Well, for one thing, it doesn't actually have any language about bringing down the cost of health care. Um, in 2014, there's going to be a mandate that demands everybody buy what's currently a very defective for-profit insurance model of health care. Um, it's the same model that they passed in Massachusetts, they just applied it to the national level. And it's already failing there, it's helping to bankrupt a lot of families there. So what we need is to bring the cost down, we need to bring pharma costs down, and we also need to ensure that health care is as simple as calling the fire department or going to the public library or the United States Postal Service. It's a public, it's a public good and should be paid for through public dollars the same way that Medicare is. So what we're basically for is improved Medicare for all. Can you tell us about some of the benefits that uh, single-payer health care would bring, either on a national or a state level? Uh, one example that I have heard of is that it would allow the auto manufacturers to be more competitive with other international auto manufacturers because, for example, Japan has single-payer health care, so it's kind of like an externalization of the cost of health care. Right, you just need to go across the border into Canada to see the difference. I mean, you know, the statistic is it adds about 1500 to a, to a cost of a vehicle made in this country because companies are used to picking up the tab. Well, companies don't want to pick up the tab. Deductibles, co-pays, that would all go away with a system like this. Um, yeah, and you know uh, the study from the famous study from Harvard, I think, is that 62 percent of bankruptcies are based on medical bills. That would that wouldn't be a situation anymore. That wouldn't that wouldn't even be a concern if you have a large risk pool and a large uh, you know a large allocation. Uh, I mean, sorry, a large uh, a large pool of, of monies to disperse to everybody. So there's essentially is, the risk is spread across 300 million people. So we can afford to take care of people. We can afford for for things that, things that seem really expensive now, MRIs, we'll find ways to bring the cost of that down. The way they do in Japan. Cause it's yeah, uh, you know, I'm almost amazed that uh, Medicare works as well as it does, considering that it seems to have the highest cost uh, yeah, uh, patients. Yeah, it, it has the lowest overhead, and yet it, it ensures the, the, the part of the population that uses the most, especially for, like, end-of-life care and things, yeah. Senior citizens use the system more, and, and it's, it's, it's all paid for. That doesn't mean that it, it can't be improved, though, and that we still have to work on that. It's going to take a really long time, but already uh, states like Vermont and California are beginning to experiment with it. So that's, you know, they, they've, that, those states have decided that health care is a human right, and it's not good enough right now, what, what they've gotten under the national reform. So, so they're trying to improve it, and there's a good chance that, that it may start on the state level and spread to the rest of the nation. So we didn't Canada. I'm sorry. Uh, so what would you say to the uh, the people that watch Glenn Beck that, you know, are, are so concerned about socialism becoming communism and um, uh, a government invading our health care and taking over our health care and then introducing death panels? What What's your response to all of that conspiracy theories? Those are a real, you just have to like unpack those one by one. I mean, if, if, if those are the same people who, you know, cash in their Medicare, use their Medicare benefits, then you just have to explain what this is. It's not, it's not socialized in so, we're not going for socialized medicine in so far as, like, the, the government employs the doctors. All we want is disbursement of 
the monies that are given to government, exactly the way Medicare works. So that's not rampant socialism. And if you believe in Medicare and you like your Medicare benefit, that's all what we're that we're looking for. We're looking to, to divorce uh, people's employment status from having a job so that when you lose your job, you don't lose your health benefit, which is currently how it works and the way it's still going to work. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just, uh, the way we respond to charges of socialism is that, that um, it's already a socialized system. You're already putting your money into multiple systems and you just have to decide if it's more efficient to pool those resources. And, and big business is actually going for it. They don't particularly like the cost of healthcare right now either. And they don't particularly like picking up the tab. So if we could get, you know, we, if we get those monies into, into a single payer system, that, that would be the most efficient thing. You've been watching Chicago Independent Television, a project of the Chicago Independent Media Center Video Collective. The Independent Media Center is a growing worldwide network of media producers, journalists, citizens, and activists, working to put the media in the hands of everyday people and away from corporate and commercial interests. To learn more, visit our website at chicago.indymedia.org. There you can find out about upcoming Chicago area events and how to get involved in making your own media including how to help make this very TV show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.